everyone, this is Serious Trivia, and welcome back to our Liu Bei Let's Play. Uh, we pick it up from episode 27, uh, from turn 126 in the harvest season of year 215. Um, so, last episode, we uh, finally mobilized our army and started taking fights. Uh, we fought very uh, slowly, uh, took only fights we were sure we can win, and retreated our way out of difficult situations. And it seems to be going pretty well, so we'll be continuing that. Uh, we have two forces out west, taking over this northwest corner of the map. Two forces over here, uh, taking care of Kong's uh, war with us. Uh, we want to force him into a vassalage, hopefully in this episode. And then we have two forces in the central plain, who's uh, fighting off Cao Cao's army. Uh, everything seems to be going well, so let's just jump back into it. Uh, we just got to a new turn, so let's quickly uh, flip through the situation. Uh, got a new item. Rivalry developed between us and Kong Rong. Uh, too many relationships, so the old ones uh, get lost. We have three characters who gain levels. We'll be taking a look at that later. Uh, two new characters. This one seems to have a good armor. Uh, we can definitely look into that. He's level 4. Uh, cheerful, distinguished. Vigilant. We might just recruit him for the armor. Uh, might as well take a look at the other person. Another champion. Uh, fear is good. Vigilant is good. Hmm, concern. He's not bad. He's just a little low level. Uh, we're not short on champions. We actually have quite a few characters. Um, more than we can utilize. Alright, Datel leveled up. She is our wife and heir, so we'll be picking these uh, heir-related skills like this one, Understanding, which gives plus one rank to all new recruits. Uh, it's a no-brainer right there. Pang Tong is leading an army. We'll be picking up this uh, range damage. And Xi Ren is also in the army. We want him to pick up uh, reach uh, so he can lead his army better, so we'll start with flexibility. And since we picked up this new weapon, which is more fitting for resolve characters, we'll switch it over for him. Uh, the weapon we had on him is better for uh, vanguards. Um, yeah, as I said, uh, if you look at our roster here, we have quite a few uh, champions uh, in our roster, so there's really no need to recruit a new one. Uh, but if he does have a nice armor, because judging by his picture here, yep, he has a really good armor. Uh, we'll be recruiting him and just take his armor away from him and then send him back on his way. So we recruited him. Yes, it just takes a long time to just scroll to the bottom. Uh, we'll pick off his armor. We'll probably give it to Siren, who is a champion in the army. Uh, is anyone else a champion? I guess Huangzu is also a champion in the army. But he has this. Okay, so he has his armor, so good for him. Siren also has this armor. Uh, he's an administrator, not really in uh, fighting for us, but that's the best we can do, actually. Mm, but this is not good for administrators, because this offers minus 12 expertise, which really hurts administrators' cost reduction. Uh, we could just save it, save it to see who else becomes a general later on. Um, yeah, so I think we'll just save it for now, uh, and then we're going to be releasing this character, because he really doesn't offer much value to us. Yep, uh, we'll send him back on his way. Thank you for the armor. Alright, this is the guy. Release from service. So basically we bought the armor for a thousand. Um, trait. This is a pretty good trait for, uh, for him in the army. Alright, everything else is good. Let's continue with our uh, armies. Uh, Zhuge Liang's armies, the farthest north. Uh, he will be coming down to pick off a fight over here with Sima Fu. Um, the road, as you can see here, is really poor. Uh, but we're luckily, because of our uh, skill traits and skills, we can actually lay 100% ambushes even on open field. So we're going to do just that to disappear. Hopefully he'll run into us. Uh, we can't really reach him. Uh, we move very slowly because no, uh, Trugalan has reach, but, uh, well, actually he has reach, but we're still moving slowly. I guess it's just because of terrain. 
Uh, ooh, that's not the army I want. I want a junk face army, <clears throat> which is also up here in the west. Uh, we're chasing down Ma Chao. Uh, he's close to our horse pasture. Uh, he can't really take it. Uh, he can't really fight us either. We can just get ourselves within range. Once we uh, close in that range right there. Yep. He should be within our uh, uh, circle of influence, I guess. is what we want to call it. So he can't move away from us now. He has to fight us. Uh, that sets up that perfectly. Let's go look at uh, the battlefront with Kuro. Guan Yu has taken the lumber yard. We're going to make a dash for the fishing port. And Liu Qi here is going to make a dash for the livestock farm. Our goal is to shatter the rest of his army, um, then make him sue for peace. Uh, we beat him back right here. I don't think he has an army that's capable of fighting us now. So we're picking up these cities for free. Uh, I'll be fighting this and cutting it out because uh, it's just going to be a bombardment run against uh, Garrison. Alright, that was pretty simple. We did take some damage from the enemy archers. There was just too many of them. But we did plenty of damage with our range unit as well. And we picked up some extra experience uh, by random chance. And we secured Long Ya at long last. And we can finally decide to build this up the right way. Uh, we'll first build this so there's no more upkeep and it'll produce some extra commerce income. Uh, we have peasantry income, so this would be a peasantry commerce town. A uh, very unique situation. So this could actually be a very good commander if we upgrade it all the way. Um, elsewhere, uh, Liu Qi's army can't actually reach uh, the livestock farm we wanted to, so we should just chase these guys down a little bit. Um, we should start with Kong army, which has six men. That'd be pretty fun. Let's see where you're going. Oh, actually, he, he went really far. I don't know if I can catch him. Oh, I caught him. Okay, Coron's done. Uh, we won't be fighting this. We'll delegate this. There's really no reason. He's not even on the battlefield. It's just against six cavalry. Oh my god. Wow. Good job, Lucy. Good moves. Um... I think he goes back to their uh, pool because he's a uh, legendary. Um, let's see. Liu Qi is actually quite injured. We should probably take the replenishment. There's a few scattered army. Uh, we'll be picking up those next turn. Uh, we can't actually reach this this turn. Uh, Guan Yu's job is done. I think after we beat this battle here next turn, we'll send Guan Yu down uh, through the river route. Um, the issue is we still have that bugged out feature right now against uh, Wu. Uh, so we can't actually fight them. So I don't know where Guan Yu's actually going to go. Maybe he should just take the marching route back and uh, perhaps get ready to help attack uh, Liu Biao. Okay, uh, so our situation here is taken care of. Let's take a look against our war against Cao Cao, which is led by none other than Sima Yi, sieging the Chen farmland right now. Uh, we can pick up this fight. He fought the army uh, in the field uh, during the turn break last time as they came out, so they avoid attrition, but we beat them back. Uh, now we'll be finishing them off. Uh, they'll be in a defensive position, uh, but they'll be just basically sitting ducks as we bomb them. So let's fight this out. Uh, we could also delegate this, but I prefer to reduce damages and just fight it out. So let's go. Alright, we'll just be uh, picking one of these gate and setting up. There's no tower here, so this will be perfect actually. Our one turn of sieging has uh, done its job. Uh, we just want to place our range units. I guess we'll start out a little bit farther, just in case they come out and charge at us. Uh, I doubt that's what the AI does here, because they do still have a sizable force led by generals. But just in case they do that, we'll be prepared. Um, if they don't charge out, we can always uh, run our armies up. Uh, I'll cut it out, because you know it's slow to watch the trebuchets go up. And we'll have our 
Spear guards just in a nice neat line in front of them. Yes, this will work. We'll still be using fire shot, uh, flaming shots. Let's see if they come out. Um, oh, they are actually coming out, so good thing we were prepared. Uh, we'll just fire them as they charge out at us then. I guess they feel like they don't have enough men to actually just hold it, especially with no arrow tower. Uh, we'll just let them run into this uh, hail of fire. Uh, we have our cavalry units on the side. They will be um, prepared to rush the enemy as they get closer with our generals. This will be our charging force. Uh, we don't need to use them yet. We'll just let our tribuches first do all the damage. There we go. Ah, they want a duel. Okay, who is this guy? Level 2. No real good items. Uh, but we don't need to. Our guy's not really ready to fight. Da Qiao, nope. Mm, let's see, she has a really good I, uh, armor. And she's level 4. So maybe not. Yeah, we're just gonna let them face our archery unit first. We'll rush our cavalry from the side. There's no worries, there's no uh, arrow towers. We'll have them charge at the archer units on the behind. We'll decline all the duels, let them charge into our infantry to fight. Uh, no need to get engaged. Sima Yi can run a little bit to the middle. I guess they're, they're gonna be doing the flank. Nope. Uh, we'll have our um, actual cavalry go melee mode to attack these guys. And they can continue to try to find a good position to fire. And they can just run down all these uh, different archer units. We just gotta split them off. So we efficiently cover everyone. Oh, actually. Right, now they can come back and help. Alright, once they clean up all the archers. Alright, they can come pick off the generals. Alright, these are all good over here. We can pull them back. Run it back into this line. Um, have them use some abilities. That's just to give a little bit unbreakable. We're not under arrow damage. Alright, once our cavalry comes back, clean up this mess. Uh, it's pretty easy to fight. We can actually pull most of our guys to help out this fight. Alright, here comes our archer uh, cavalry. We'll clean up this line with a rear charge. They'll be doomed. And then we'll target every uh, all their generals together. Smile, you can join in the fun. Alright. So yeah, we pour through, all the units have uh, routed, we'll send our cavalry away, the bull cavalry. Uh, we can actually have our bull cavalry um, start firing, pick off on them, only a thousand health on that. Alright, we won the fight, uh, this is our fight against Hal Tal. Uh, we kind of want to not let their generals live. Uh, so we'll pick them off. It'll be pretty quick. They don't have much health left. Uh, this one's gonna die right away. 5k. This one's probably gonna die to arrow damage. Look how many shots are going at him. Oh, he got out. He got out of all the range of the arrows. With 300 health. But we're chasing after him. These guys are shooting and chasing at the same time. Alright, let's see if we can get him. Nice. Alright, let's claim victory. Alright, we picked up the farmland. She survived, so she's taking her armor with her. Oh, we captured her, never mind. 
Uh, do we want her? She, uh... She has a bunch of nemesis. Um, she has three items, so I feel like we should just employ her, take all three items rather than execute her. Yeah, she's not terrible. Yeah, let's just employ her. We want all the items. We'll occupy Chen. Alright, is someone leveled up here? Let's take a look. Alright, Ling Yang. Ling Yang can pick up Reach. I don't think they have... Oh, the, Sima Yi has Reach. Hmm. In that case... Yeah, it feels like we should still go for Reach though, because there's no point to go for that, because he won't be commanding. Reach at least gives instinct, so he can fight a little better, and then we can pick up trust, and uh, we don't need that either. Let's see, he's Bruin, so he needs to end up picking up Abundance and Wisdom, so we'll go this route. Uh, we should give him a better weapon though. Maybe just this Glaive? Man, he doesn't have anything. Uh, yeah. I don't know if this is the best thing to give him, though. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's good for now with him. Alright, we picked up that win. Zhang Yan is still over here picking up Yang Zhou's farmland. And then Cao Cao has Ru Nan. He does have a force here led by Chen Wu. Tai Yang and Tofa Yang, Tofa Yan, Tofa Yan, yeah. Uh, but he is at war with uh, a few of these forces, so he should be in trouble. Uh, after we clean up this part of Cao Cao, we can clean up Liu Biao. Um, yeah, and Guan Yu can help do that. Cao Cao has a force on the loose here. Uh, we can't catch him, so we'll just let him run around. He's not, he's not strong. This is rather weak. So let's just quickly remind myself to do normal. That's why we didn't get attacked last in last turn. We'll pick up the farmland. Uh, I'll fight this and cut it out because it's just a bomb run. All right, easy, easy win. Uh, not without loss, but still pretty clean. Alright, now we have used up all six of our armies, if we take a moment to look at the map. Um, we are one turn away from crushing Cornwall and reaching our goal here and forcing a peace perhaps. We're still quite a few turn away um, on the northwest. This is mainly due to the poor terrain and very hard to navigate here. Uh, so take us pretty much a lot more turns to finish up this corner of the map. Um, although we're at war with uh, Wu, uh, we can't actually attack each other because of the glitch. You have to make peace with them before we can attack them, so we're waiting on that to happen. Um, elsewhere, we're going to be crushing Cao Cao, uh, who managed to find himself a city. Before where he only held these counties, he finally has a capital settlement in Jiangxia. Uh, let's see who Cao Cao is actually at war with. Yeah, Yuan Shu. Yeah, so he has his hand full. Um, we'll see what happens to him. He has these three territories here. Alright, uh, we'll quickly see if anyone wants to sign any deals with us. Uh, we're not interested in offering peace. He might want to trade with us. It's worth a bit of money, but do we really want to trade with the Yellow Turban Rebellion? Probably not. Yep, uh, not much going on. Uh, we gained some items. Um, I think we took care of all of that. Let's just quickly look through our buildings. Mm, yeah, we'll keep that as is. This is Hedong. Hedong. Yeah, we should upgrade the inn. It's a long time coming. Uh, once we pick up more reforms, we'll be prioritizing the copper mail, a uh, copper mine. Uh, we're probably gonna rush it. Just to, as soon as we got the reform, we'll build it and rush it just to get the corruption reduction. 
Uh, it's not optimum, but it should be quick. We do. We are sitting on a ton of money, and I don't think we can use it before the game game ends. Uh, we'll be upgrading the inn. Mm. This is Sihu. This is actually a pretty big commandery. This is a temple. Okay. Uh, well, private workshop first because we have extra commerce here. We have way too many commanders. Beihai Chen. Uh, we'll fix it. We just sieged it. Um, can't wait to get our hand on the other two pieces of Guangling. Uh, we level this up. We'll be building a state workshop building here, and we want to level it up again very soon. Uh, Yangzhou could use an uh, upgrade for corruption reduction. Definitely. 72% corruption. I guess we own pretty much at least a third of the map, if not more. So corruption has definitely got out of hand. Uh, but we are doing fine economically. Uh, we're making a lot of money. We can probably recruit a new army if we wanted to. Uh, but play don't see a need right now. Uh, we're doing fine with the army we have, and there's not any like unique characters that I really want to utilize. So we'll hold off on that. Let's end turn. And our 100% ambush paid off as they slip right in uh, to Zhuge Liang's trap. We'll be wiping off this force right here. Um, Um, I don't think they're actually that strong. All the units kind of bad. Uh, we'll lay out an ambush. Um, I don't like the ambush mechanism, but uh, it is what it is, so let's go. Alright, since we ambushed them on open plain, and since we're just in desert land, so it's actually, there's no trees to ambush. So essentially what we're going to do is just set ourselves up to fight them from one side. Uh, probably their rear side, since they're least prepared. If they want to run, they can run. We'll pick off who we can pick off. There is no benefit to scatter our troops like this and let them pick them off one by one. We are much better off in formations. And that's exactly how we're going to fight this. Right, if they just want to run away, we'll get some free shots on our trebuchet. I'll be very content with that. And we can have our cavalry run in later to do some cleanup if most of their army is gone. But before that, we're just going to be doing this. Alright, let's get started. You see how we're just going to be firing these trebuchets? Let's see if it actually fires. You see how they are they firing? See they're in range, but they're not firing. This is how messed up it is with the ambush mechanism. They choose not to fire. Which makes no sense. It's like you stay hidden until you're not hidden. But then you don't you lose out opportunity to uh, fire will, which is just so weird. I don't know why he's moving up. We're not asking him to do anything crazy. Alright, it seems like they want to get up on this hill, so we'll fire the hill. Um, I guess we could try to move our cav units in a little bit more. Seems like they're just going to be going for the runaway route here. And if we show up, maybe they'll turn around, which would be kind of cool. Alright, let's continue to stop them from getting on this hill. It'd be quite a cool to see them run down this hill. Nice shots. Alright, everyone in uh, formation. It'd be slower, but we'll be hitting harder. Uh, we can stop firing in case we hit our own troop. Alright, let's hope we don't run into a humongous army just waiting across this hill. Let 
mean, they're not really in formation, or just the formation is really clumped up. But not as pretty as I thought. Let's run a little faster. Getting out of class here. Alright. This group has slowed down. We can split up our groups. Ooh, still a lot of men. Hopefully they're just all running away. We don't want to fight all of them. Alright, they wiped out that group. We don't want to be charging at Spearman. Seems like they're just pulling away, so we'll be picking these off. I guess we don't need to be in this formation. It's not actually doing us anything. We're not actually trying to charge through any defense. We're just trying to pick off units as they route. So the extra speed from not being in formation is actually better. Alright, maybe they'll route and then we can pick them off without running into them. Alright. This seems like a good place to hit them, because they're in that retreat formation. Alright, let's get them. Oh, they're not running anymore. Are they standing to fight? Nope, not fast enough. Didn't brace, so we'll wipe this out. They, they stop moving, these two units. Alright, we'll make sure they don't live. I guess the goal here is just to reduce the strength of their army so that next turn we'll just pick them off. I do want to pick off these crossbowmen though. I mean, whoever is free to get killed, we'll kill them. Could have probably sent our generals over as well. Would have sped this along. Alright, they shattered. Let's pick them up before they run away, especially that crossbow unit. Can't let them live. Come on, help, help. Catch them. Hit them. Nope. <laughs> Alright, not much damage done. Alright, we didn't actually do much damage, uh, but it's pretty much as expected with these um, ambushes. I don't think they work. Wow, we catched all three of their generals though. I guess they were 100% for these two at the beginning. So we essentially wiped out this army, because once we take the generals, the retinue is good as gone. I mean, wow, what do I do here? He's decent. He's actually pretty good. Simafu. Yeah, we'll pick up Simafu for sure. Um, not terrible. Okay, let's just kill him because he's rival with Simafu. We can pick up him because we actually don't have many vanguards. We'll replenish. Okay, Cao Cao is still instigating proxy war here. He made Tao Shen go into war with Gong Du. That's actually a good war for us. Let them fight it out, weaken each other so we can pick them off later. Uh, Kong Rong is asking Liu Yao into their coalition. A little late for that. Uh, peace treaty, okay. Our spy returned. Wait a second. Oh, we got a new horse. Uh, let's see what horse did we get. Gray Elite. Amazing horse. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who is our sentinel? Zhao Yun. Gray Elite is for you. Perfect. And then we can 
hand Jolyon's horse over to another sentinel who doesn't have good horse. She's coming back to us? That is so strange. I thought we were doing so well in that army. Um, but anyways. Xiao Tiao. Ah, we'll give it to Xiao Tiao. Yeah, that's, it paid off the horse, uh, the animal tamer over there. Uh, Liu Heng picked up Dutiful. Pretty good. Honest. Okay. New character. Zhong Dan. Uh, Zhong Dan. Oh, this is really good. Exclusive. Uh, this is actually going you know, make a good administrator. We'll pick him up for now. We're just picking up characters more than we can use. And they're not dying off because the campaign is going pretty smoothly. Strange how our spy is returning. I thought she was doing very well in that faction. Hmm. Guess not. Anyways, we'll be beating them anyways. Spying is not really going to be the way we're going to win this fight. Uh, we have a level up. Jian Yong has become level 6. Pretty high level. 60 minus 60 for desire for higher core position, but we have so much positive factor that is not even relevant right now. Um, I think he's just gonna stay a court person, so this doesn't really matter for him. But we'll give him this good skill for dueling just in case he ever sees the light of day. Um, he is holding on to this item, which I don't know why he's holding on. Then again, we have so many items. Yeah, we've been doing a poor job. Um, like, administrators could definitely use these to reduce cost. I don't know why I haven't been giving them out. But, yeah. It's been one of those games where it gets to the point where you can't manage it anymore. Alright. They picked a new general to pick up the retinue, but that's just pathetic. Actually, maybe this was the one in the river. Regardless, we'll be wiping him out with the delegate. Ooh, wow, chopped off his leg, Zhuge Liang, you nasty. Okay, we lost one man, don't know how that happened. Replenish. And we'll be marching off to our second horse, or third horse pasture actually, so discount for cavalry is just rolling in. Uh, Ma Chao actually moved, I don't know how he moved, I thought we had him in our circle, I guess we just do something like this? Stop him right before. He's got to be in our circle now. Hopefully he doesn't run now. Or else it makes no sense. Alright. Swing over to Kongrong's side. Uh, Guan Yu can actually... Yeah, Guan Yu can actually fight off these two groups. See if they want to fight us. Nope. Not interested. Right. Now you can't run anymore, and we can just pick you off like this. Alright, we pulled out the city garrison as well, so we'll be fighting them in the field, so this is perfect. Uh, let's fight this. Uh, we won't be doing night battle, because we do, we don't pull the city garrison out. So, And we also get Guan Yu's reinforcement, which we don't actually need. Um, but let's fight this anyways. Alrighty, let's see. Their reinforcements come from this side. Their armies desperately trying to hug that corner. Uh, given the size of this force, I feel like if I just get Liu Qi to set up like this and run him down, we can clean this up right away. Uh, as for the rest of our army, we'll be setting up in this corner to get ready for the garrison reinforcements. That unit's really weak. I don't know what happened. Must have taken a lot of charge damage from enemies. Alright, everything is set up. Uh, flaming shots. We'll be microing this fight over here. Liu Xi is not super healthy, so we had to be careful there. Uh, nope. Like we said, not super healthy. Nope. Alright. We're not going to be charging into their spearmen. That's, not, that's what we're not going to do. Kill off their generals. If 
their spearman comes out towards us, we kill it. Oh, oh, we're killing ourselves. Come on, Trebuchet. Don't be silly. Nope. Notes you can roar. Cause them to uh, lose morale. Alright, kill some generals. Actually, that wasn't a roar, was it? Yes, it was oh, splash damage. Okay. They roared at us. Uh, we're picking them off. Well, that's Ma Dai. Ma Dai is pretty famous. But why is Ma Dai in Kong Rong's army? Shouldn't he be in Ma Tang's army? <laughs> Alright, we wiped out this force right here. Killed the general. Let's kill this general. We can't leave the strategist to run away. We really don't need this army. We're going to keep them all the way over there. Um... We'll wait for their army to get closer before we activate our uh, trebuchets. Make sure my dad doesn't run away. Yeah, this army isn't going to be relevant. By the time they get here, they'll be tired and all that. We'll just let our uh, trebuchet take care of the situation. Uh, now that everyone's out of range, we can turn back auto fire and just wait till they get in range. Can't believe we can't catch them. Come on, guys. Now uh, he's turned around to fight, to die. Yeah, this is your death if you turn around. Look at that. S swamped by these guys. Oh, killed him. Good job, guys. Now you guys can swing around and get a flank on this group once they come closer. Uh, let's speed this up now. As they approach our army. And get pelted by our trebuchets very soon. Now the screen's so small, like squished with 42 units, you don't see their level displayed anymore. That's interesting. Alright, uh, fire away. Not doing as much as we wanted to, but. Right. Let's do a rear charge. Terrible. You guys are terrible. Can't we hit something like this? Fire? There you go. See that? Much better. Alright, guys. Go to work. We got them good. We'll have the cavalry come pick off the... Oh, they're done. Actually, we don't have to be doing much now. We can just let them auto fire. Alright, we won this. Uh, we should kill off all these uh, garrison unit though. That way they can't defend the garrison when we uh, go towards the garrison. That way we can just pick up that win easily. Uh, our general should all come out to help pick off these guys. Guan Yu too. I know it's across the field, but they're kind of running in that direction. So we have someone on everyone. That way we can make sure we kill everything. Um, let's pick, make sure we have someone on everyone. Ooh. Can we not kill our own guy? Alright, I think that unit might make it back. Yotsi is doing a really slow job. But hopefully we can pick up most of this. Hmm, I think they got it back. So it's going to kind of suck because, uh, because of that one unit we have to maybe actually load up and fight that siege um, anyways I think everything else got taken care of we'll just end it here I guess Guan Yu made it <laughs> Guan Yu gets to kill some things 
These guys are so bloody already just from running people down. They're not even fighting back. It's just all enemy blood soaked on Guayu's robe and beard. Alright, easy win. Can't complain about the win, although we did let a group of these guys get back, so we do have to go through a siege. Uh, Fu Ting, uh, 52. Not a standout, no items, just to execute. Replenish. Alright, so we'll siege Beihai out. I'm gonna actually just automate this. I don't think we'll lose many men. Yep, we didn't lose any man. First time that happened, delegate. Ha very happy. Alright, we picked up Beihai. We picked up all the commanders we wanted. Uh, this guy is in our territory, so he's not actually going to replenish. That's all the army Cornwall has. This is a good time to talk to him. Hi, Cornwall. Nice of you to declare war on us. Still very stubborn. Just very, very stubborn. 32. How can you still be this demanding? Oh my god. Okay, I know what can change his mind. Uh, we'll continue to beat up these two armies, take the farmland so he's out of food, and then offer the farmland back to him so that he'll be very valuing the land, and then he'll sign a vassalage with us. So, a turn away from doing that. That will be our main goal today. Uh, Sima Yi's army. Uh, we took care of most Cao Cao's territory. He has Rule None, Iron Mine, and Jiangxia over here. Up here, he's very far away. He's all the way here. I feel like we should just march down into the Iron Mine. Uh, what's the best route? Maybe this is the best route. We'll stop here to replenish for one turn. Seems like there's a few injured uh, people. Zhang Yan can chase this guy down. He's trying to siege our um, Yangzhou livestock farm. Uh, I guess we can't even reach it with the uh, force march. We'll just walk. Uh, it will last. If he wants to actually fight it, I don't think he can win. That's why he's not actually jumping into the fight, trying to get a turn of attrition off. Um, I'm being, we're not doing much here. This is just a food commandery. We have 114 extra food. It's mainly because we are not really big on upgrading commanderies to a higher level than a small city or city. Um, that's just my personal play style. This could use upgrade. Yeah, this is perfect. Um, ooh. Private workshop. I mean, you, Beiping, actually deserves an upgrade. Because this is a good trade port. We can use a marketplace here. We have the food to spare for sure. Uh, this is just a peasantry town. Mm, we should upgrade it one more time. Uh, Yangzhou's livestock farm is burning. We know that. Let's take a look at which commanders we can buff. We start off in Don't to see if we're missing anything. We have uh, Corruption, we have Industry, we have Commerce. We don't have the Industry and Commerce combo, which we do want. Perfect. Alright, and that ends our turn as uh, so we proceed on to continue our war on all fronts and wrapping up this campaign. Alright, so they think they can fight us. Um, it's 
I don't think we have a garrison here. I think this is a level 4 livestock, so we'll be fighting this on the field. It's going to be hard to win. Um, I think to save time, I want to do more this episode. Um, I'm just going to delegate and lose, and then have Johnny and come in and wipe them out. Yep, we lost, but they only have 300 men left, so we'll be killing them. Ooh, an army popped out of nowhere. Uh, Liu Bu has put our land to siege. This is a town. He can't win this. Alright, we'll fight this. We might have to end the episode early then, with this, uh, this turn. Uh, but this is an interesting fight. I'm pretty confident we can win this. Uh, they have three generals, but they're all super low health, so let's fight this. Alright, these town and small town battles are actually the easiest ones to win because you have a very open layout with a lot of arrow towers and then the city center is actually just a capture morale point. You don't lose if they capture this, right? If they capture this, you just lose some morale. So the technique is you look at where they come from and you don't stay there. You want to stay as far as away from them as possible. So like in this case, we will stay like here, right? As they approach, we shift. We, we leave and let them get hit by as many towers as possible. It's basically a hide-and-go-seek fight, a uh, hide-and-go-seek type of fight. Uh, we don't want to block our way. Like, we don't want to end up trapping ourselves. So we'll just pick that one and maybe this one. A little bit irrelevant ones. And let's just start. And all we need to do is have these once they get into range, have them shoot the generals because the generals are going to be doing outsized damage to you. Uh, first, you check if there's any oath thorn because if there's an oath thorn, like in this situation, there's oath thorn, then you don't want to kill them right away because then you enrage the other one and they heal. So in this case, they did not. So we'll just be picking them off. Uh, we'll make sure the towers are hitting the generals. Actually, this guy has a good weapon. We should kill him first. So. We'll just have them shoot at them. We can't really see because uh, with battle realism, you can't see um, the camera angle beyond where your units are. Our units are all the way over here, so this is as far as we can stretch it. Um, obviously, they're going to be capturing your towers, but your tower is not going to be shooting at you even if they're captured, so it's really meaningless. Yeah, he lost about a thousand health already. We'll have these guys on the side join in, and once they charge in, these guys will continue to shoot at him. Yeah, he lost another thousand there. Uh, another hit. Two more hits and he's dead. Come on, guys. Get a good hit. Two more arrows. And say goodbye to their... Ooh, ooh, one more arrow. One more arrow. Come on. That, that tower got captured. Alright, he's running away. Maybe we can get him before he run away. No, I think he's gone. He's all the way over there. So we'll start firing at this guy. So yeah, this is the game plan. The game plan is just let them run through your town. It's fine. As they get close to you, you run out of the town. So in this situation, we want to run out of the town. All right, we want to run our archers out of the town. We want to run our spearmen out of town. We want to run them out of town together. Uh, if you look at the range of these arrow towers, you want to run past the range. Right, you want to be like over here. So when they see that strat just died, walking in between here, getting picked off by this tower. Um, they can't capture all your towers. They're gonna try to come out and chase you. They'll capture one of them, and as they come out and chase you, the other two is gonna kill them. That's basically the game plan of how to win this fight. And then you just basically make big circles around the, the town as you uh, watch your towers kill them. Um, so in this case, we'll fast forward because this is just way too slow. Okay, we'll set up over here. You want to stay together because if you scatter, the morale is going to get destroyed. Um, they want to capture that, they can capture that. It's not going to make a big difference. Uh, you can play go hide and go hide and go seek. You know you can shift, let them come out. You can go back to those two turrets, capture them back. It's you know it's really fun. And if they just run out, 
they're not gonna catch capture it and they die see they're just dying running out at you you don't need to fight them you just need to run um, this works very well when they have no cavalry when they have cavalry it's a different story um, but right now with no cavalry you see they're running through all your arrows they're getting picked off as they're chasing you this is hilarious and then what you're going to do is going to run back to where they captured your first tower. And, you know, the instant you get there, you capture it back. Capture that back. They can't do anything to you. Oh, they're shooting at us now. But it's fine. Our captain has a decent morale. And they're just getting picked off by all these towers as they walk. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. And we won. That was just that simple. All right. Easy win. Uh, they had resiliency on some of these guys, so he died. He ran away. We didn't actually kill him, and he has resiliency, so he's still alive. We want to replenish. Uh, they might be st stubborn enough to fight us again, which is fine. All right, Coronel's forces are on the run. I really want to take care of Coronel this turn, but I guess we don't have that option. I think. Golgan is actually sending a force to guard our capital. It's not even a full force. Not trying hard enough, Golgan. Come on, you're our vassal. You should do better than that. Alright, we lost the livestock farm. That's fine, we'll take it back. Liu Yao has declared war on us, that's fine. Tiger, Tiger. 15% morale, cool. Uh, wait, he's the same guy. We just saw him last turn. Wait, maybe different guy. Maybe different guy. Yep, different guy. One letter off. Yeah, the age difference is, is humongous. Alright, we have a strategist horse. I'm pretty sure we can use that because we don't have many horses for strategists here. Alright, so this is all good. We should finish up these battles. Alright, so let's see. Guan Yu should go back. Try to take the farmland and don't lag. Liu Qi should hunt down these rebels. We should do a trap move here. Where we don't let him run. And just trap him in the circle. Let's see if that strategy worked with Zhang Fei over here. We want to fight Ma Chao. Ah, we got him. We finally got him. Alright, we don't need to rush that. Uh, pick up the horse pasture here with Zhuge Liang. Oh, we can't reach it. Oh, this road is so bad. Alright, we, we can get this next turn. Probably next episode. Uh, we can fight Ma Chao here. He encamped. Interesting. Makes the fight easier for us, actually. Uh, Sima Yi is marching towards Runan. It's pretty full healed. A little off. Um, we'll get there in a turn. They don't have a garrison here. Where is their army? Oh, he, oh, this army slipped through. This was the army here. Lu Jiang is not important. We do want Yang Zhou back. Alright, uh, we'll... Hmm. They're so weak. I feel like we just delegate this. Yeah. 200 men. Not a big deal. Gain an item. Captured it. Good job. Zhang Yan can... Let's see. Let's see. He picked up a level. 
Yeah, rent new upkeep discount. Okay, we'll let his uh, cavalry pick up 20% additional range block chance. Uh, we got Confucius statue. Let's see, Liu Qi. Yep, definitely a better item. Um, Shi Huan. Okay, he has a pretty good one. Zhang Fei has a pretty good one. Alright, so that's set. Alright, we can turn our attention around to this army wherever it decides to attack us. And we'll have Samai come down this way. I guess we're going to end today's episode with a battle between Zhang Fei and Ma Chao. And Zhao Yun. Well, this is an epic battle. Three of the five tiger general. Uh, we definitely want to capture Ma Chao. Yeah, he's, he's not going to outrun us this time. Alright, we'll night battle him. 21% of capture. 21%, not high. 52% capture rate, 31% escape rate. So I guess I'm assuming that means 17% death. Uh, he has resiliency, so he can't really die, so that's good. Uh, let's fight this and end this episode. Wow, very snowy play. We'll try our best to not kill Machal. We'll set up our guys in a line. Cavalry a little bit on the side. Uh, he does have one unit of cavalry. We'll try to catch him on the flank. Uh, if he wants to duel us, he's level 5, good weapon, good armor. Vanguard. 80% armor base. Pretty high. But Zhao Yun can take him if he wants to fight. Zhao Fei can probably take him too. Yeah, I think both are pretty confident here. Let's start it up. Let's see if he gets past our tribuches. They're marching so slowly. Wait, what happened to the filming shot? First one not registered? Ooh, that's a good hit. Fire, there you go. I don't know if my Charles is actually going to run towards me and get a duel off. But he does want to do. Let's see. Level one. Oh, free kill. Let's do it. Zhang Fei can use his roar on the cavalry. We want. Uh, we don't want the cavalry to actually. Oh, we're not actually hitting anything. Auto fire. All right. Zhang Fei can take care of this. Ooh, wants a duel. Interesting. Mm, yeah, we'll fight him. This would be epic. Uh, we'll let them run to our men. It's fine. Uh, it's more interesting to watch Zhang Fei versus Ma Chao. I'm sure Zhao Yun can win his fight. Let's see if Zhang Fei can win his. I mean, historically, I think I'll favor Zhang Fei. Just by a little bit. Ma Chao did fight Xu Chu to a standstill. But Zhang Fei survived the mighty Lu Bu, so... Oh! Keep the spear, man! Don't, don't throw it back. When you get two spears, you get two spears. He doesn't have unbreakable. We could always just yell at him so that we don't kill him. Actually, he's killing us. Well, he is killing us. Huh, interesting. Right, Zhao Yun won, no surprise. Right, time to roar. Does he run away now? He does, okay. We kind of cheated there, but... Didn't want Zhang, Zhang Fei to lose face over there. Oh, they all died over here. Alright, we'll just call this a battle. Let's see if we captured anyone. Yeah. 
All right, let's see what happens. Oh, uh, not him. We got Pang Li, who's a rival to Ma Chao. I feel like we can just cut his head off. Ma Chao just ran away. He's still, he's still fine. We just have to find another chance to get him. Okay, um, I think that wraps up all our army groups this turn, and we're just gonna call this the end to this episode. Uh, it was pretty fun. We didn't get Machal, but the Northwest uh, fight are just really slow, not really making much progress. Uh, Konron's being stubborn. Uh, we adapted our plan to try to use the farmland that he has to entice him to sign a treaty with us. Uh, Cao Cao is pretty much wiped. Uh, he has a lumberyard over here. We're one turn away from attacking the iron mine. He has an army that poked out here, left his capital. Uh, we'll have Zhang Yan come and catch that. Um, if we finish off Cao Cao's forces here, it's logical we just finish He Yi off as well, since our two armies are already here. Uh, after Guan Yu and Ren Xi finish, uh, Liu, um, Liu Qi finish their mission over here, they can shift over and finish off Liu Biao. And the four army groups, actually this is all six army groups can meet over here. And they can drive their forces in, take over the seat, drive their forces across, take Wu. Uh, maybe not all six, maybe we should split it off again over here. Some three go south, three go down over here to the west. And we'll win this campaign. Uh, meanwhile, it's interesting to see that once Sun, Sun Ce split off from uh, Sun Jian, uh, this is uh, Sun, actually, Sun Ce's forces over here, Sun Jian's forces are over here. Uh, they split off for whatever reason in the game, and now they're just fighting each other. Uh, we definitely want to beat Sun Ce to this seat, because uh, if they grab this seat, they will become the new empire, uh, kingdom of Wu, and there will be a tougher battle for us. If we can finish off Wu while they're busy fighting uh, Sun Ce, it'd be better off for us. Yeah, but that's uh, a couple more turns down the, lo uh, down the road. Uh, so far, we're cruising. Cruising in the late game. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, please remember to subscribe to this channel for uh, more episodes of this Let's Play, our Cao Cao Legendary Let's Play, um, and a new Let's Play once we wrap up with this one. Uh, it's kind of uh, too hectic to maintain three at one time um, as well as all the guide video that i produce on this channel and uh really thank you guys for watching these um hope you guys enjoyed it have a nice day bye